Okay, I just pulled off the driver's side cylinder head. You can see that there's coolant here. So this whole, we call this a water jacket or like a coolant jacket. So the coolant and that will flow from the block into the cylinder head and that keeps everything in here cool. There's also oil passage here. And these are also oil passages. There's a real thin line between oil and coolant here. And also the combustion chamber. So if you were to have a cylinder, if you were to have your head gasket fail between your, com your combustion chamber and your coolant jacket, you'd force air into the cooling system. So that's why sometimes with a head gasket failure, you see uh, radiators failing or coolant hoses popping off, things like that. People replace their radiator and they think, oh, it's fixed. When a super starts overheating, you know, these 2000 to 2010 models, Typically, it's because this combustion chamber is forcing air into the cooling jacket here, into the cooling system. So you have air bubbles, and the coolant can't flow past a big air bubble. So you may see your engine temperatures go up real quick because coolant's not flowing through the system. It's blocked by air. So that's one type of head gasket failure. The other one is a failure between oil and coolant. Then you can have oil and coolant mixing. Um, so that's not good. And then the last one, here, you're gonna have a leak of oil out of the bottom of the engine. Typically, it seems to happen in the back cylinder. So this is cylinder four and cylinder two. A lot of times it's in the back cylinders. I don't know if it's because more oil pools back here. So that's a common one where, I mean, you can see how little material would need to fail here for to, to develop an oil leak. Let's look at the head gasket here. So now if I put this thing up here, Let's see if I can hang it on here. This is the, you can see it's all actually, it's all junked up here. The head gasket's coming apart. So you can see it's coming apart here at the oil, you know, it was leaking oil out. So, and you can see the thing coming apart here. Again, over here, it's more intact for some reason. So I, I don't know why it's usually, it's usually the back of the engine that usually has issues. So yeah, there's your three types, combustion chamber to cooling, cooling system to oil mix or oil out. I guess you could have, you don't really see in a Subaru combustion chamber to oil, right? Because it'd have to fail here and here. It's possible. That's your EJ25 single overhead cam engines um, and their failures.